Shalom, I want to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Ha, Raka, Kodash. Double honors goes to the uh, elder apostles of Great Millstone who taught us the truth. And I also want to acknowledge all of the uh, Akiyam pushing this truth in sincerity. Alright. <clears throat> and I apologize, there's a lawnmower going on in the background. I'm outside doing this lesson. So, um, I just want to do a quick Sabbath uh, touch on the Sabbath. Uh, because there's been, well, not, hasn't, it's been going on for a long time. You know, people celebrating the Sabbath from Friday night sundown to Saturday night sundown when uh, that's not the true Sabbath of the scriptures you know so I'm gonna start on uh, Exodus 31 15 uh, just to kind of bring out the importance of the Sabbath so it says six days may work be done but in the seventh is the Sabbath of rest holy to the to Yahweh, whosoever doeth any work in the Sabbath day, he shall surely be put to death. All right. So as you can see from that verse right there, Exodus thirty-one fifteen, you know the the Sabbath is a serious is a serious law of Yahweh. It says you should be put to death if if you violate the Sabbath. Um, I'm gonna jump to. Matthew 5 and 17. And reason is, is because I just want to prove that the laws are still in effect. Um, unlike the Christian church teaches. You know, they say that the old laws are done away with. That Jesus, you know, changed that. Which is not true. This is uh, Matthew 5 and 17. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Okay. I'll keep reading. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Alright, so this is New Testament. Alright, so every Christian I ran into, they say that the Old Testament laws are done away with, right? Because that's what they've been taught and they've been brainwashed to believe that. <coughs> So just wanted to show that verse, you know, those two, three verses in Matthew 5. Um, all right, I'm going to jump to Kings 4 and 23. And another point I want to make here is is the uh, the Sabbath is declared by the moon. So it's it's all about the moon. With the Sabbath, um, <clears throat> you know, so saying it's Friday night sundown to Saturday night sundown uh, is not true because it's dictated by the moon, and, and usually it's the new moon is 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 the Sabbath. So um, I'm gonna jump to let's see what I say, Kings. Four and twenty. All right, I know it's Second Kings. Sorry, Second Kings four twenty-three. <clears throat> At the top of the screen, it says Second Kings four twenty-three, and he said, "Wherefore wilt thou go to him today? It is neither new moon nor Sabbath." And she said, "It shall be well." Okay, so just wanted to point out that, that that's what it is that dictates the Sabbath. It's the, the moon. Okay, so let me jump to Sirach 
which is also called Ecclesiasticus. So let's see here. Here it is. Ecclesiasticus, and we're going to go to 43 and verse 6. 7 and 8, 6, 7 and 8. <clears throat> So is Ecclesiastes 43, 6. He made the moon also to serve in her season for a declaration of times and a sign of the world. All right. So the moon is the, it declares the times, including the Sabbath. Okay. So it's the moon that declares the holy days and the Sabbaths and the times and the seasons. Okay. Our ancestors, our forefathers, you know, they used the moon uh, to keep track of time. You know, the word moon is actually, it means months. So it comes from, the, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, it comes from the, that's where the month, word month comes from, from the word moon. So... <clears throat> Ecclesiastes 43, Ecclesiasticus 43 and 7. The moon is the sign of feasts, a light that decreaseth in her perfection. The month is called after her name, increasing wonderfully in her changing, being an instrument of the armies above, shining in the firmament of heaven. All right, so that verse right there is very explanatory self-explanatory all right the moon is called after her name the, i'm sorry the month is after is called after her name all right so there's that justification on the moon from there i want to go to leviticus 23 and 24 Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, In the seventh month, in the first day of the month, shall ye have a Sabbath, a memorial of blowing of trumpets, unholy convocation. Alright? So, again, these laws, these commandments, have been given to Israel, so-called black, so-called Native American, and so-called Hispanic people are the Israelites and those are the people of Yahweh those are the people who these laws were given to including the Sabbath from there I want to go to Isaiah 66 and 23 let's see <clears throat> In Isaiah 66 and 23 at the bottom of the screen. And it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another and from one Sabbath to another shall all flesh come to worship before me, saith Yahweh. And they shall go forth and look upon the carcasses of men that have transgressed against me, for their worm shall not die, neither shall their fire be quenched, and they shall be an abhorring unto all flesh. So really you want to concentrate on 23 there. It shall come to pass that from one new moon to another and from one Sabbath to another, all flesh shall come to worship before me, saith Yahweh. Again, showing you that the Sabbath and the moon, they're parallels. They go hand in hand. Okay. Um, I'm going to jump to Deuteronomy. 16 and we'll go to 8 6 days shall 6 days thou shalt eat unleavened bread and on the 7th day shall be a solemn assembly to Yahweh thy power thou shalt do no work therein Seven weeks shall thou number unto thee, begin to number the seven weeks, from such time as thou beginnest to put the sickle to the corn. 
and thou shalt keep the feasts of weeks unto Yahweh thy power with the tribute of a free will offering of thine hand, which thou shalt give unto Yahweh thy power, according to Yahweh thy power hath blessed thee. All right, so let me see. This is uh, dealing with the Sabbath and... Um, but as you can see, you know, it's it's all about the moon dictating every the times like we brought out in uh, Sirach 436. Um last verse. I'm going to go to Amos 8 and 5. Saying, when will the new moon be gone that we may sell corn? And the Sabbath, that we may set forth wheat, making the ephah small and the shekel great, and falsifying the balances by deceit. So, again, the new moon and the Sabbath go hand in hand, okay? I just wanted to touch on this because uh, I've actually been wanting to bring this out for about a week because I was uh, in a conversation with um, some folks, some Israelites that were, you know, their their stance was that the Sabbath was on Friday night, sundown to Saturday sundown, you know, and and you know they they had to be shown those scriptures. Um, they are stubborn, like our people are stubborn and stiff necked. So they didn't hearken to the this truth even after seeing the scriptures because they've been taught falsely. So they, they're sticking to their, their false ways. And really, whenever these verses are introduced to you and uh, you can't see, you know, Yahweh doesn't lift that veil off your eyes, then most likely it's not for you. And, and more than likely, you're not an elect person, elect man. I shouldn't say person, elect man. Um, because like I say, it's, cl it's clear as day to the elect. And we see these scriptures. I just pulled out, you know, six to seven verses showing you that the, the moon and the Sabbath go hand in hand. You know, the Sabbath is, uh, you know, dictated by the moon. All right. But with that being said, I want to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Ha, Raka, Kudash. Double honors unto the elders, apostles of Great Millstone, who have taught us and are still teaching us this truth. And I also want to acknowledge the Akiam who are pushing the, tru the truth as it is written in sincerity on the highways and the byways. Shalom. Shalom to the elect.